What's up guys, this is Casey. I want to show you a little tutorial today. This is a uh, 3D model of a tree that I made in Blender using the Cycles program. Um, as you can see, I textured the tree, UV unwrapped it, marked all the seams, did what I had to do. Um, this isn't a Blender tutorial. I just wanted to show you because there, when I UV unwrap the tree, there's really no way to hide all of the seams. There are, tr there are seams around the tree trunks. Uh, there are seams going up and down the tree trunks. There are seam seams everywhere. And try as I might, none of the effects that I could use in Blender were hiding them well enough. So I found a little trick. I'm using GIMP right now. You could probably use Photoshop. I know nothing about Photoshop. I've used GIMP for the past 12 years. I'm just going to add me a new layer, and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select my clone tool, go to my tree image, and I just want to select an area close to my seam. Um, for GIMP, it's, you just got to control click to mark where you're going to have your clone tool start. Click on your new layer, and you're just going to start brushing, just gently brushing right around that seam. And you can see that what it starts to do is it really starts to just disappear. You can uh, increase, decrease your brush size if you want. It really doesn't matter. I want to move my where my clone tool is actually taking its picture from uh, to as close to where I'm painting the seam as possible. So what I start getting is an erased seam. This is just a really quick job. I'm not doing anything fancy with it. You move in on this one here. Sorry if you hear all the birds chirping outside. It's driving me crazy this morning. Get my brush a little bit closer to where that seam is so that it looks a little bit more natural. But you don't want your clone tool where it's pulling the images from, you don't want it to pull from where your seam actually is. So make sure it's not going to run into a seam while you're trying to cover a seam or else it's just going to make another one. So, let's see, I've got a couple seams over here. So let me select, uh, I like this side. Oh, what did I do? There we go. <coughs> And just kind of paint up it just a little bit. I'm using a uh, fuzzy brush as well that helps it blend in a lot better. And I'm putting it on a different layer, so I'm not actually destroying my original image. Uh, like I said, you can you can play with the brush size if you want. You can play with anything you want. It's your picture. You do whatever you want with it. This is just real quick because you know not every model you can hide seams on. Most most of the people that I've talk to most of the sites that I went to that said uh, anything about hiding seams it was all about overlaying a second unwrapped image and that doesn't work because the you know this is a real world texture and even though it's tileable if you delete it over the seams to input another unwrapped tile it just doesn't match up you get a, an, an even bigger seam um, so <clears throat> a lot of other people said you know just uh just put the seam somewhere where you can't see them you know, which I did with some of them, like this big tree trunk, the seam is actually in the back, uh, the seam's in the back on this tree trunk, but uh, some of the seams I didn't bother with because I knew I could do this trick. Also, you have to make a seam around the base of every one of these branches, which means it, I mean, you can't hide something like that, and even if you re-unwrap it and put another image in there, it just makes the, the seam bigger, so... I just do what I have to do and then I come in and start painting around a little bit with my clone tool until I get an image that I think is good enough. Uh, obviously I still have some seams in here but I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on here. Let me open my finished image for you. And there's my completed image. So, <coughs> obviously what I've done is I've painted around my seams, made sure that all of my branches line up. 
gotten rid of some of the stretching involved that comes with these smaller branches that you really just can't avoid and you can't fix with UVs properly. Got rid of all my seams here. Some of these I didn't worry about. You know, there's a little seam back here, but in your final image you don't really see any of that. Uh, I got rid of my seam around here. My seams all the way down here. And that's pretty much it. So this is a 1920 by 1080 picture. So if I zoom in at about 100%, this is the size of it. And you just want to make sure that at, at its greatest size, at 100%, you can't see any of the seams, which it looks like you can't. So that looks like we're pretty much done. I uh, hope this tutorial helps somebody out there that's trying to figure out how to get rid of these pesky seams. <clears throat> if you don't know how to do UV unwrapping or anything that I discussed in this video, then this uh, tutorial is probably not for you. Thanks and have a good day.